Delighted like to be joined by Roger Lochran. How are you, Roger? Good, thanks, Dave. Good stuff. Uh, we're just here at your yard, just outside Kildare Town, between Kildangan and Kildare. Um, you have a nice spot here, you have? Yeah, thanks, Dave. Um, it's uh, building it up the whole time, sure. And you're kept busy, if you, all the stables full as well, which is a good complaint? Yeah, good complaint. It seems to be busy all year round now since I started this couple of years ago. And as I said, try, try, try and keep building it up. Um, a question a lot of people are asked lately is uh, how they've dealt with the lockdown but a um, question for you is how have you dealt with uh, retirements? It's a year and a half now since you gave up, mm. you hung the boots up and, and how are you coping with not riding anymore? Yeah fine, fine like I thought the time was right, it, it comes in everyone's career but I was I was doing this while I was still riding and my head was kind of torn to this and I was running out with nice horses at the same time so I'd rather focus on this and I was lucky enough to get a good job riding out with Barry Connell there too and it's nice to be riding nice horses every day and it's working for me at the moment. And Barry's just over the road in Nurney as well so he's building up his stable now as well and you're there six mornings a week and then you come back here and do your own horses. Yeah exactly I'd be in Barry's there six mornings of the week and then myself and a couple of lads would come back I'd do these horses in the mornings before I'd go come back in the afternoons and ride them out and it seems to work. It has been working for the last long, and as I said, I've been busy the whole time, so it's good. Uh, race riding was very good to you, Roger. You had a very good career as an amateur and as a professional. Um, many big wins, plenty of winners. Um, I suppose Central House was the one horse that stood out as the star for you and helped you a lot in your career, and um, winning a couple of grade ones and um, beating Moscow Flyer as well in Navin. Yeah. Um, he was a very good horse to yourself and Desi. Yeah, he was very good to me, I suppose, sir. I won on him, I beat Moscow and Navin as an amateur and then Charlie Leopardstone happened and um, we came back then, I missed it, I missed a bit for that and I came back and won a tight cottage on him in Punchestown as well and look he, he was a very good horse and he never let me down, he was a great horse really. Uh, I seen him a few weeks ago, he's in Ratnure in County Wexford and I know you were there a couple mm. of weeks before me, he's 23 years of age now and he doesn't look it doesn't he now? No, no, unbelievable. And, First of all, I was, late, I was delighted to get the call from Therese and to know that he's been looked after because I didn't know where the horse had gone at the time and I'm down and seeing him, I'm sure he's, he's an unbelievable Nick, they've done a great job down there with him. And Roger, I'm sure you won't mind me mentioning, uh, we mentioned the good days that you had but that day in Leopardstown was a particularly bad day but I suppose what was would be very important to move on is Desi you he was put you back up on the horse and I, I'd imagine, I didn't know Desi Hughes personally, but I'd imagine um, he was very good in, in in that situation. Yeah, yeah, sure. Desi, Desi, like he was a top class trainer, he was a top class man. And from the time I left off him in the ring, he said whatever, he said these things happen. And from that day to this, not a word. And to be fair, him and the owners, um, John and Joe, like, they know that I was getting back on the horse when my suspension lifted. Like, I was able to leave it behind me there and then. You know, it was a tough one. I'm my own fault. Everyone makes mistakes. I think the man that never made a mistake in his life never made anything. But like we, are, I, I was able to get up and go on. But they were putting me back on the horse, and they kept faith in me. You know. And um, you spent a lot of your time with Desi. Um, many, so many good horses went through Desi's hands through that that famous yard. But so many good um, jockeys as well in those years. Yeah. Yeah, like, as I said, he was like, very good to give opportunities. Unbelievable, yeah. He loved he loved a good claimer and like you know he'd always stick by you. Like I was seventeen years from Desi's and there was a lot of lads there and gone and I just stuck my head down and keep working and my chances came around again. You know, but he, he, he was a good he was he, he was a good man, like he was very fair, you know. He was very fair, you get in there, stick your head down, you'll be rewarded. Like and as anyone knows, not 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 easy in this game, like when you're right big winners every day of the week you're on the crest of a wave but when they're not there for you it gets tougher but you have to knuckle down and work hard at it you be you were all rewarded there and um, what's the plan going forward then roger um you mentioned to me before that you're getting your handler's license out you've a couple of horses there hopefully hoping to run into point to points that's right yeah and like i always said like when i retired like i'd love to give that a go you know i have a horse of my own there i think he's the right candidate for a point to point so i get my handler's license out and run him away there and if any more come along along the way, if they want to keep them with me, that's fine. And if they want to, me to break them and pre train them for someone else, that's fine too. You know, I don't mind. I just I like to be busy and horses around, and it's all good. And you've good facilities here. There's plenty of land around, and there's good uh, gallops just down the road from me as well. So, yeah, um, you're not you're not short of being no, able to work the horses. No, sure. The car is only ten minutes away. And I, I've been lucky enough to use Peter Fahey's gallop there for a long time. He's been good to me there. Let me use it. Anytime I want, I do a bit for him too. And um, Og Hill is only down the road as well. Lovely gallop there during the winter, starting off young horses. 
get plenty of graft into them and no it's only five minute trip either way and even though you're full up here you'll always make room for new horses if anybody's oh, looking to send you a horse roger of, of course yeah yeah and i enjoy i enjoy breaking young horses and giving them the right start out like giving them the good outlook on life you know starting off i think it's very important that's good well listen fair play to you it's great to see you doing so well and uh best of luck with the future roger cheers david